Hello and welcome. It is Sunday, the 20th day of November 2016, and welcome to the Silver Charts channel. My name is Derek, and we'll take a look at the Mintage uh, Silver Eagle chart as well as the weekly and monthly price chart. And I put this up yesterday. 35.5965 million Silver Eagles sold this year, and it's done. Why? I don't know why. Maybe. It's because the authorized dealers told them, we, we don't want to buy anymore, so, so please just stop making them. Don't make any more 2016s. We'll buy when the 2017s come out. I don't think so. Maybe the employees went on strike. Again, I don't think so. Maybe they cannot sustain it at the cost that they want to because the prices are way too cheap. Maybe, I don't know. And just maybe we're now running into supply issues because there's going to be coming a time soon and I really think it's this decade. That's how soon I think it's coming where the supply reserve issues are going to become very problematic because every year, every year the amount of silver used for all purposes increases and greatly increases what is mined for the year. And I projected from my research earlier this year that it would be around 2018 when that issue would come into play. Maybe it's playing now because I can see no good reason why they should stop minting them. And I think that the best way to determine using charts silver eagle demand would be what the bullion dealers that have been in business for years without any major expansion would show within their data and how much silver is being sold because maybe it's eagles people want or other uh, silver uh, coins like maples, philharmonics, etc. or rounds of some sort, bars of some sort. But how many ounces they sell on a month-by-month -month basis would be really the best number to use. But within this chart, we can see from the first eight years it was around 10 million every single year. Then 2008, oh, the internet started explaining money as debt. Zeitgeist Addendum, Federal Reserve, and people are blogging about this stuff is coming into play. Close to 20 million, double. And then it was close to 30, close to 35 and 40. And now for the last six, seven years, within Eagles, about the same every single year maintaining its rise that it had at the end of the first decade of this millennium. Let's move this on now to the uh, the weekly chart, which sustained a loss of 4.5% for the week after 6% the week before that, and even greater when you include it from the election highs as the mainstream media on that night stated gold and silver was rising because it looked like Donald Trump was going to win the election within the first uh, few bits of the results. And sure enough, he did. And well, obviously, that was wrong reasoning because we wouldn't have had a decline of two and a half if that was true. Obviously, the bankers do what they want to do. And out of whatever reason, Spike, do they have the ability to crush this thing really low? The answer to that is I don't know. But even if they do, I think the net result will still work out the same. That when the banking cartel system plays uh, into that type of mechanism of crashing the market, it's just going to hurt them really badly, I think. Anyway, especially with uh, the demand that would come into play on a SmackDown any further as it's already been SmackDown bad as it is. Now within the highs and lows on this chart, you can see you got stage one of going down, stage two of going up, and stage three of going down again, however number, however you want to number it. But within each one, you can clearly see uh, where on a downtrend it makes lower lows and lower highs or matching lows as either or. And on uptrends, higher highs, higher lows, again, or matching. So in here, you had all these higher highs. Okay, and then on the way down, we can see that we have lower highs, lower lows, and such. Well, it's going to keep doing that until it does it, obviously, and then it's going to revert into an uptrend. It's at a key Fibonacci point. It's so quick housekeeping, first of all. 61.8% is Fibonacci retracement because... When you take a Fibonacci number and divide it from its preceding number, you're going to get 0.618. And 
And then when you multiply that by itself, you get 38.2%. You multiply that by 61.8%, you get 23.6. And you multiply that again, you actually get 14.5%, not 15.4. However, 1663 was the exact low on Monday. And it is a matching level within the monthly chart. So it's one of those dumb mistakes that doesn't mean much. With that being said, the low on Friday pretty much was an exact low with the 14.5. However, when you look at the lows, like you'd say you got all these highs and lows. Okay, so who cares about these ones in here? Let's talk about the big highs and the big lows. We got this low is a big low. This high is a big high on the chart. So it's probably going to make a higher low from here. Probably. It might from this hair below 16. Again, when it comes down to it, because it's already been making lower lows already, this one is only semi-important compared to this one in here, which will be really important. And then when we expand this to the monthly time frame, we can see there's that low, there's that high. But amongst this decline, the amount of lower highs, the amount of lower and matching highs it had until it finally made a higher one in here is a lot. And so now it's having that first test of band flattening it, getting above the band to what this key $21 point is of established resistance. And now back to the band back to Fibonacci and back to even this resistance here, but it's still at that lowest level you pretty much want to go. Yeah, it could pierce another dollar, so no big deal. But situation breaking here, going above, that does spell uh, reversal of trend and maybe it can make as many uh, higher highs as it did lower highs on the way down or go straight up like it did before, either or. But however, on the situation where this thing breaks down, clear noticeable break above this uh, 18 average, and you would say, oops, breaking down below here, this could go down pretty harsh, and in a, a real non-banking cartel type of market, you wouldn't expect it to happen, but we wouldn't be here in the situation without that anyway. So is it possible? I don't know. I mean, maybe they get extremely pissed off and they just want to do it anyway. But doing such would really destroy it because I got to think the cost of making these silver uh, coins can nowhere be, be anywhere near where the price is now. And that's one good reason I think the Silver Eagle has uh, stopped its mintage. So if you know any information about why, let me know. It's still early information, so... I'm going to probably find out more throughout this upcoming week as we move into it. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.